You have the, the saying of holy, holy, holy. Uh, 4, 8. Uh, в адрес Бога. Три раза тоже говорится свят, свят, свят. And the description of God's power that was and is and is to come. My name is Valery Roslavtsev. I went to church, but then I felt that I lack knowledge. Um, I needed to know more in order to lead people in studying the Bible. At that moment, uh, our pastor told me about this seminary, and he said this is a good reformed seminary. So this is how I happened to be here. I like the atmosphere because I feel I feel here as if this is part of my this is my family. Dr. Uh, uh, Gerard Van Groningen was trying to find people to come over to Ukraine to teach uh, really some seminars with the goal of developing a, a school. I was assigned to teach uh, some basic doctrines in Reformed theology, doctrines of salvation. Uh, went to the city of Donetsk where we were first located. My name is Nadia Zevdi. My pastor, he um, uh, asked me if I want, if I would like to study further to learn more. And he told me about the seminar and he actually brought me here. I was somewhat discouraged by it, didn't get a very good response from anyone. And um, a couple of years later though, I did come back. I was asked to come and the school had grown. It was not uh, the present uh, organization we had now. Uh, some corruption issues emerged, not in, with them, but in the understanding of the church leadership that they were working with. And um, we, a group of, that were on the board there and some others broke away and formed uh, Wright, um, Reformed International Theological Education. I'm reading a book on uh, John Owen's The Glory of Christ. <laughs> And he's talking about focusing on that glory that we will have. When I first became a Christian, I immediately w went to Bible school. I uh, studied there for one year in that Bible school. And then instructors in that school uh, told me about this seminary. I was warned that this is a reformed school. So there will be a lot of things that I would disagree. But uh, to even to think about studying in a spiritual school, a seminary was a wow for me. Now, there are a lot of different groups here, different theological perspectives here in Ukraine. I think getting the gospel to this particular group is, is crucial and vital um, because once they begin to see the sovereignty of grace and they're better able to understand really what's behind Russia. Uh, this is a spiritual battle. I went to school under the communist time yet. So um, we were, we had to study English. That was an obligatory subject, uh, which I never liked. I met Natasha the first time I came in 1998. Uh, she was uh, one of two translators. Uh, in fact, the man who was with me uh, teaching, uh, we both would kind of compete with each other to who would get Natasha as our translator. I thought I would never meet an English-speaking person, so why would I study English? The only job uh, opportunity that uh, came was the translate for the missionaries uh, who came from the United States, uh, which I didn't want to take. Uh, I didn't like to work for missionaries. Uh, but uh, that was the only job. Never goes to church. Whether the students received what they were saying or not, she continued to receive it and grow in her faith and understanding. I began to read the Bible, first time really in my life. And uh, um, I was translating the Bible study groups that they were leading. And of course, I had lots of questions in my mind. And so I was asking those questions and getting answers and thinking more, and reading more, and finally it took me, yeah, I became a Christian. But I already know the Lord will have a tree. If I don't like this fruit, I can go to that fruit. For a student to be accepted in our school, they have to be involved in a church that we know. Uh, they have to have the pastor's recommendation. 
and then they are interviewed uh, by us. For the first uh, year, students, we help them with uh, uh, the lecture material, uh, help them with understanding uh, any questions they might have. Our program uh, is a four-year program. We offer uh, approximately 90 classes. Uh, it's comparable to what a person would receive uh, in an American uh, seminary, conservative seminary in the U.S. Uh, from a reform perspective. I attend all the classes, all the lectures, I hear all the time, listen all the time, learn all the time. And also, I try uh, to communicate to stu students on their level. We had been renting all the time from a couple of different groups. We saw a building that had never been completely finished out. We were able to purchase that for $140,000 and then spent about 50000 making it into what we needed with dorm rooms, classrooms, and a, and a dining area. We used it for about six to seven months, uh, and in the spring of 2014, uh, Russia invaded eastern Ukraine and uh, came into that area, uh, invaded uh, uh, Donetsk. <laughs> We were forced to move here because of the war. So my city is Donetsk, which is occupied now by foreign forces. Sadly, we had some churches started in the Donetsk and Lugansk area uh, before Russia invaded in 2014 and that destroyed those churches. For our church, it was a um, um, huge shock and devastation because the church split over those events because there were different opinions present in the church about what happened. All of our students that were living, for the most part there, with a few ex rare exceptions, uh, pretty much took what they could carry and uh, fled from the Donetsk. We thought that it will be over soon, so we stayed for a while. And when shelling started, we decided we need to go out of there. Then we made a decision on summer 2015 to move out of that area and come to Kiev region. In the process, Wright lost the building we paid for. Uh, it's unusable and inaccessible to us. We had the goal of restarting in, in Kiev. We kept in touch with all of our students and in fact continued to uh, pay our students a stipend uh, for the next uh, roughly nine months uh, so that, which enabled them actually to live and also for us to keep an intact a potential student body. We just came to Kyiv, looked, we didn't know the city that well. Uh, we had to find an apartment to rent and just uh, waited, uh, hoping to return to Donetsk. Now we don't have that hope. Natasha managed to uh, secure a rental property at one of the sanatoriums, as they call them, kind of the resort areas on the edge of the town. There's several like this. They supplied dorm rooms, food service, and rooms that we could use as classrooms. At what point do you share Christ with them? All of our students we'd had in the past came back. We were able then to recruit some new students in the Kiev area. Uh, we've been able to reach certain areas we were not able to reach before. My heart goes after uh, those homeless people, street people, and uh, so I'm going there, I'm feeding them and preaching the gospel to them, and also I'm working with the orphans and children from dysfunctional families. This is what I'm planning to continue, keep doing after I graduate. Now, th those two Hebrew words, you don't pick it up in, in your language or in, in English. We instill upon them, they've got to share what they know. The gospel is, is man's only hope. Um, so, 
I think they really get a sense of that. You can't just keep it. You've got to share it. In Ukraine, there are just a few uh, seminars that teach reformed doctrines. And for me, this is so important teaching because it presents the Bible in the right way. In chapter 20, verse 6, we've had many students through the years who've wanted to start churches, and some have. Uh, other students we've had um, are working in their churches. They get opportunities to preach and teach, uh, to teach adult Bible studies, Sunday schools, lead small groups, those types of things. I just uh, so thankful to God that uh, he took me, he brought me to this seminary because uh, such a big emphasis is done on the gospel, on Christ-centered preaching here that uh, in other schools I don't see that as deep. One of the biggest challenges we always have uh, is, uh, is the funding for the school. We give them room and board when they're with us for two weeks out of the month, for nine months a year, and a stipend, as well as paying the salaries of our, of our translators and, and being a student. And uh, if we had more funding, we certainly had more students wanting to come than we can actually uh, take. We have so few Reformed churches in Ukraine in general, and I think we need uh, pastors, t students who would become pastors, who would start Reformed churches, who would uh, teach the uh, true Word of God. I see in my life uh, growth spiritually, uh, and uh, also here I learned to love my Bible, reading Bible, we always keep uh, everyone who supports this ministry in our prayers, in our hearts. This program, this curriculum change the life of the students, change their theology, shape uh, their worldview. Our people, they don't know the truth and we need to tell them about God. Because again, people say that they do, but they don't. But they don't know, so we need, we need to we need to teach students, and so that they will go, and they will bring the truth to their churches, their communities, to to their workplaces. Greetings from Ukraine. Thank you for your support. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> All right.